<laughs> Listen, Jennifer Lopez cannot keep a man to save her life. Yeah, I said it. I'll say it again. Jennifer Lopez cannot keep a man to save her life. That's what I said. Jennifer Lopez, turns out, has filed for a divorce. Damn. I'm not surprised. I saw this coming. According to People, Jennifer Lopez filed for a divorce from Ben Affleck. And she is so vindictive, right? She filed for a divorce on their wedding anniversary. Man, this says a lot. Somebody is so vindictive, they waited until the wedding anniversary to file for a divorce. Now, I know there's people out there talking about she tried really hard to make things work. And she is heartbroken. My ass. <laughs> Listen, it's crazy. Anyhow, Jennifer Lopez moved to formally end her marriage to Ben Affleck on a significant date. This is the day that they got married in their southern wedding. She was done waiting and the date she did it speaks a ton, says some source or individual. She's 55 years old. A 55-year-old woman Filing for divorce, she filed for the divorce on Tuesday, August 20th, without a lawyer. The move gives her control of the process. It's good that she did it, someone says. You know, this world is crazy. People are always ready to throw you a divorce party. It's crazy, but it is what it is. Now, another Jennifer Lopez insider said that the sentiment, the underscoring that the superstar is she's just fed up and she's just ready to move on she tried really hard to make things work and she is heartbroken the kids are her top priority as they have always been here's the thing the kids that she have none of them are from ben affleck so of course the kids are always a top priority for her had Ben Affleck been the daddy of them kids, maybe he would be a top priority for her. This is a reason why a lot of men, especially made men, as in successful men, they don't necessarily go after first option, a woman that already got kids. Because that woman in the back of her mind is, she's always seeing a way out in case anything goes wrong kind of thing. And she's always putting her kids first. So... It takes a strong and a different kind of man to be like, yeah, I'm going to be your man and be father to those kids, even though they're not mine, knowing if she got two kids, you'll be number three or number four in her life. It'll be child number one, child number two, it'll be herself, and it'll be her career that generates all this cash for her and gives her her lifestyle. So somewhere along the line, you'll end up about number five in her list. No man wants to be number five on a woman's list. You want to be her top priority, right? Especially if you yourself are already a top earner and already got stuff going on for yourself. You don't plan on being a stay-at-home dad. So Jennifer Lopez, she is a mom to a 16-year-old twins, Max and Emmy by Mark Anthony and Ben Affleck shares three children Violet who's 18 Serafina who's 15 and Samuel who's 12 those children comes from his ex-wife Jennifer Garner Wow now in her divorce filing Jennifer Lopez has listed the couple's date of separation as April 26th of 2024 she and Ben, Ben is 52, Jennifer is 55. She and Ben, they legally got married July 2022 during a surprise wedding at a little white wedding chapel in Las Vegas just a few months following their, their April 2022 engagement. They got engaged, boom, they got married. But remember, they were together already before. So they basically spun the block, came back for each other, and went for marriage instead this time around. That's a big red flag in the first place. I don't know why people do that. The reason your marriage ended in the first place or your relationship ended in the first place 
is because there was something significant there to actually end the relationship. Now, I don't know why they came back to each other, tried to make it look all romantic like some damn Hollywood movie, and moved one step further, locked in, got married, and it lasted two damn years. For anybody who's wondering about how the money part of this goes, Jennifer Lopez is worth way more than Ben Affleck. In finances, in money, her, her worth is estimated net worth at over $400 million. His net worth is estimated at about $150 million. So if you double his net worth, you're still not hitting her net worth. You understand what I'm saying? So there's money there, lots of money thrown around. But at the end of the day, it's not about the money. It's about the principles and where this leads. Now... When sharing photos with fans, again, through her newsletter, she wrote of rekindling with Ben Affleck. Some old wounds were healed that day, and the weight of the past finally lifted off our shoulders. Full circle, and not at all the way we planned it. Hashtag better, or not hashtag better, quote unquote. So for her, she claims when they were together before and they broke up, they had some unfinished business. You know what I mean? There were wounds that were left open and she needed closure. And when they got back together, it was like the wounds got healed, but they arrived at a even better place than before. Can I tell y'all something? That's the euphoria. That's what you feel when you get back with the ex who you had some good things going on with. And it makes you forget for a minute all the bad things that led to the end, which is exactly what Jennifer and uh, her man here are going through, Ben. Now, <laughs> I can't imagine, right? Probably six months into this marriage, if that long, is where Jennifer and Ben both started saying to each other or to themselves, man, this, that bullshit. See, I knew it. I shouldn't have done it. Fuck! Shouldn't have done it. And here they are. Back. Worse than what they... They, they are now worse than what it was before. So, people first reported in May that Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez were living apart. So they broke up in May, according to Jennifer. Their separation date was in April. I guess the tabloids didn't get it until May. They started living apart. And by June, July, and then August, she files a divorce. There's no reconciliation. There's no let's go to marriage counseling. There's no I love you that is mutual. Let's work this out because I don't want to lose you. I want you to be my life partner. I'm 55. You're 52. Let's stop playing games. Let's lock in and let's fix whatever we need to fix. Let's, let's put the egos aside. Let's do that. There's none of that. It's just, ah, uh, I'm moving on. Bye. So in the months since, the pair has been rarely seen together. And they were actually photographed with and without their wedding bands. So at some times they were like trying to fool the crowd. So they would still go out with their wedding rings on. And then sometimes they would go out with the wedding rings off. And then people would be all confused. Are they still together? Or are they not together? Well, we've seen many videos of Ben and Jennifer in public. Looking like they were totally disgusted with each other. There's one video of Ben and Jennifer at some award show. And he reaches over with a smile on his face. And he whispers something in her ear. And she turns and looks at him like a stranger just whispered in her ear or a stranger commoner a fan that got past security had gotten too close to her that's the vibe she gave him and then she turned around and she gave him the back of her head so he couldn't see her face but the cameras that were on the other side caught her face and she rolled her eyes with such disgust it was like get the fuck away from me i can't stand you now listen, whether you think that's what it is or not, when people see that, 
that your partner thinks that you are like a pile of shit they just stepped in, that's hurtful. That's hurtful. I don't know who is the problem in this relationship. And I don't really like to get into men and women's relationship because, you know, a lot of stuff goes on behind the scenes. I've lived long enough now to know that women create a lot of turmoil behind the scenes and then go crying to social media as if they are the victims when they're actually the ones who caused the relationship to end in the first place. A lot of the time, secretly, inside of themselves, they want to end the relationship, but they don't want to be blamed for it. Accountability issues, right? Like a lot of women have accountability issues. They would, they would chew off their own right arm before they actually said, I was wrong, I did this wrong, I apologize, let's move forward. They would literally rather chew off their entire left arm before it. Now, there's a little saying here. Some people, they don't want to save their relationship. They just want control. And they want to feed their ego. If your partner keeps on telling you that this or that is pulling you apart, it's bothering them, it's making them resent you, it's leaving them feeling hurt or disrespected. These are things that you should pay the utmost attention to. Matter of fact, these are things that you should try your best to fix right away with like it's an emergency. Because after all, right, this is the person who you love. Your heart's in it. This is the person who you want to be with the rest of your life. So, of course, you would give it that much strength trying to fix it. But do you really love the person? The end result is if you don't, you will end up losing that person that you claim to love and care about if you don't actually put the, that level of effort in. But it depends on if you really care about the person and love the person or not. Or was this all a facade for the public? You know, oh, they're married. Oh, they're a power couple. Oh, they're worth $550 million together. Oh, they're this. Or was it strip away all that stuff? This is who I love. This is who I want to be with for the rest of my life. You know, so really, do you love the person or if you are just seeking control through manipulation behind the scenes? There's a lot of stuff that people don't know about that goes on in relationships, man. Silent treatment. Women will be in the same house with you and your, your wife last spoke to you two weeks ago and y'all live in the same house. And every time you try to speak to her, she start cussing you out. Or she start talking about something you did from 2016, even though you're in 2024. You know what I mean? Withholding intimacy. These are things that women do that cause their relationship to crash. Now, that man might not have even done anything. Like, he probably disagreed with something she said. He never cheated on her or disrespected her in front of people, etc. And she is withholding intimacy because she is not getting her way. These are all ways of manipulation and control and a lot of people they don't really want to save their relationships they want to be able to manipulate and control and they want to be able to know that the person that they're with loves them more than they care for the person i mean it's a sick state of mind if you think about it why would you want somebody that you're with right to love you and care for you more than you love and care for them but some people get their kicks and jollies off this way now, I'm not speaking too much more on this relationship. Matter of fact, yeah, I am. I'm speaking all the way out on this relationship. Everybody saw this coming. The most famous one was they were walking down the street, and Ben went to open a door for her, for Jennifer. And he opens the door, she gets in the car, and he slams the shit out of that car door. And this was like a year ago, or almost a year ago. And people have since been saying, yep, next thing you're going to hear about after this is a divorce. And sure as hell enough, here we are, shortly after, a divorce. Now, Ben landed on Forbes list in 2023 as highest paid actor with an estimated $38 million. That's in 2023. In, uh, or... In, in 2024, that is now somewhere 
in 150 million, something like that. Jennifer, 400 million, right? They are, they actually both brought a sprawling mansion together. So now you have material stuff that's mixed up in the middle of everything else. Because now they got to figure out who gets the mansion. And it's not just a house somewhere that's worth 150 or 250k or 400k this is a 60 million dollars mansion they brought a 60 million dollar mansion together but recently they put the 12 bedroom 24 bathroom property back on the market for sale and this was actually the first part of everybody saying yep they're coming apart they're slowly moving apart they're, they're, they're still trying to trick the paparazzi and the media, but we can see the separation, right? So the I don't know who needs 12 bedrooms and 24 bathrooms, but the amount of money they have and fame they have, they could afford it. $60 million. Now they got to go fight on who gets what. I guess they plan on selling the mansion, splitting the money evenly down the middle, if that's how it was bought. Now, after moving out of their mansion... Ben purchased a $20.5 million bachelor pad and JLo went house hunting on her own. She listed her and Ben's date of separation and there she's out of there. She doesn't want to be in this no more and everybody is throwing her a welcome back to these streets party. Hey, leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me if you saw this coming. Also, Tell me, because I don't want to seem biased, but I'm a man, so I can only speak from what a man's perspective is as far as what men go through with women. But as a woman, I want you to tell me some things that men do to sabotage their relationship before the relationship ends. Leave that in the comment section also. I'll catch you all on the next video. I'm out. Peace.